So hey everybody, it's me again, Kenneth. Nice to see you again. Today I want to make a little reverse oh, reverb shootout. To do this I have a Digiverb by Digitech. I bought it for 40 bucks. My beloved Hardwire RB7. A Cathedral by Electra Harmonics. And this beautiful Alice's Midiverb 2. So many people have left comments under my last videos and uh, they recommended it because Kevin Shields originally used it in my bloody Valentine recordings. I want to show you the differences of the reverse modes. There are expensive ones, there are cheap ones, there are rack based ones, there are pedal ones. Unfortunately I don't have the Yamaha FX500 here. I bought it once but I uh, already sold it, sorry. It has also a very good reverse mode in it. This is the gear slow dive used. The Yamaha FX500, Google it. It's also very cheap, maybe 80 bucks or so. Um, you should definitely check it out. Today I'm wearing shoes. Um, you won't see them a lot, but I did it for you because it's the Shoegazer channel. I'm using my white Squire Jaguar guitar. Uh, the Fender Princeton 112 Plus. I mic the amp with a Shure SM58. I will play something by uh, my band Donald Willows. The song is called Silhouette. We start with a Digiverb, Digital Reverb by Digitech. It's very light, it's very small. It has quite the same settings as the RV7 by Hardwire. For us is important the gated and the reverse section because these are very useful for shoegaze and yeah, my, my clean signal sounds that way. turn the level knob to his 100% position, then uh, you can hear the full reverse. This was uh, with long decay and uh, the EQ is more in the treble position, now low position, it sounds that way. My opinion it's very cool uh, to have the possibility to mix the reverb signal here into the dry signal but there's a problem because um, here my guitar signal sounds very loud but when I turn it to 100% signal definitely sounds a bit quieter and this is not so good for a live situation that would mean that you need maybe a compressor or something like that to uh, make the signal louder uh, when you have it on the very wet 100% position for the reverse reverb because it's too quiet that way the gate mode sounds that way <laughs> I love the gate mode here, it sounds very warm in the low position, in the high position it sounds that way. You can also not hear the attack of your uh, strumming in the 100% position, in the 50% uh, yeah, position. Of course you can hear it, but it's also very loud then and uh, yeah, here's a compromise. This is also a good effect to make some reverse-like shoegaze stuff, like Kevin Shields did. If you like to hear your strumming in your reverse reverb, then you should definitely uh, decide yourself for a digiverb.
So I think it's a very good pedal for, for starter to try out some shoegaze styles with reverse if you have not too much money. And it's also good for uh, your pedal board and for your cases because it's very small and light. I really like the color, so <laughs> this is also important if you want to have a beautiful pedal board. It's a bit slimmer than the hard wire, as you can see. Just a bit. It's lighter. This one is heavier. Here is a modulated reverb effect and uh, here is a church effect which is just a little different. It has a stereo input, here is just a mono input and the level knob does something else than the digiverb one. As you can remember the digitech knob uh, was some kind of a blend effect uh, for the dry and the wet signal. Here the, in the reverse mode um, the level is just a level for the reverse but there's no dry signal. I think this is very useful. The gate it sounds not that washy like the gate reverb of the digiverb here. It sounds a bit cleaner and a bit more defined. I put the level on 100%. <laughs> Also here you can hear the dry signal much more than the dry signal of the Gigi verb uh, at 100%. Well, and uh, yeah, the short version of the gate reverb. Warmer. So far to the uh, Hardwire RV7, let's come to another very interesting pedal. If I had to guess, I would say most of you guys uh, would recommend this pedal because it's analog, it's stereo, it has a uh, very great sound, it has a tap function. Well, yeah, we're talking about the Cathedral Stereo Reverb by Electro Harmonics here. <laughs> In my ears it sounds awesome, very clear, it's, it's about uh, 230 bucks. The level option here is called blend option here. This is the way it sounds on 50% wet. The way the reverse acts here in comparison to uh, the hardwire RV7, the reverse comes slowly in and has a longer feedback. If you know what I mean. Here you can uh, um, make very uh, uh, exact settings. Like the reverb time, 100% like this. short as you can hear the signal gets louder as I turn the volume knob up here you have a tone damping because it sounds very harsh and hard here like scissors and fatter. It's very cool. You can turn it much warmer than uh, digital versions by uh, Hardwire and Digitech. This is very cool. And uh, you have also a feedback option here. Sounds not that great. Um, 
this is more for uh, some kind of delay uh, which uh, the uh, cathedral can also do and here's a pre-delay here as you see the beat um, changes here you can change the sound of the reverse reverb because you get some kind of chorus effect which can also be very useful here a uh, save mode um, that you can save your favorite tones. I would really recommend this pedal um, if you like analog stuff. If you ask me I wouldn't buy it because it's too too huge. I like smaller pedals. I like uh, I like it that way. I like my to have my pedal board as small as I can. The sound of it is very unique and special and you have to like it. I like it, but uh, I I like the digital sounds a bit more, and so uh, I think the RB7 is still my favorite in this case. Well, last but not least, uh, uh, here you can see the Alesis MidiVerb 2 16-bit digital effect processor uh, on top of my Fender Princeton 112 Plus. I bought it two days ago, uh, used for 50 bucks the original. My Bloody Valentine Reverse Reverb. It has 9 reverse modes, 40 to 49. This is the first reverse reverb. As you can hear, it's a very short reverse mode. Um, I can't do anything else here, I, I just uh, have to take it how it is. Right, 40, 41. For your interest, uh, if I bring in the dry signal a bit, it sounds that way. Now the 43, just to compare it here, 41, it's longer, 42, bit shorter, much shorter, 44. Very short. And we put the mix of 100%. Sounds that way. 45. This is very cool. As you can hear, you have the reverse sound, but you have also, in addition, a kind of delay, something very ethereal. Well, I don't think, I haven't heard that uh, Kevin Shields used this effect, but uh, I really love it. I mean, listen to it. It's beautiful. I really love this effect, so if you decide yourself for uh, Lisa's Mediverb 2, this could be something you are very interested in uh, because it's a very unique reverse reverb sound uh, with some delays in it and sounds very high quality in my ears. So here we have a standard reverse reverb. It sounds in my ears exactly like the uh, 43. 
reverse reverb, but maybe it's stereo or something because I have it here in mono. At 47 uh, there's also a little delay. Yeah, and 48 reverse. You have a very long feedback here. So this is actually not just the reverse, it's a reverse with uh, a lot of delay. And 49, the last reverse setting for uh, the Elysis MIDI Web 2. Also very ethereal, uh, has much room, I guess there's some kind of reverb, reverse reverb and delay in it and yeah, it sounds, sounds great. I'm more the fan of pedals, uh, I don't like effect rack stuff, but uh, um, I mean why not, if the sound is great uh, um, and you have a, a foot switch for it, then you can also use it and uh, you have a very original sound. I don't really like the reverse reverbs and the purity here. They sound very original, but I'm struggling to play it. Maybe you have to buy a, a further one and combine them. I heard uh, by Elliot of Ringo Devsta that uh, he would have figured out the sound of Kevin Shields by My Bloody Valentine. And he's using two of these Elisa's MIDI Verb 2 effects. He set it both of them to 100% in the mix combine them and then it should sound exactly like My Bloody Valentine. So if you have the money and you want to spend about 100 bucks for two of these rack based effects, um, then you can be very original with your reverse sound. I played the old time in this pickup setting. Yeah, I hope you had fun. Don't forget to leave comments if you have any questions or if you have any ideas. If you like the channel, subscribe for more. I have a lot of ideas uh, for 2017 and uh, I will do what I can do to keep you up to date with all the cool stuff about shoegaze. See you!